Hey guys, it's Julia here, and I am back, and I have a computer here, as well as another computer over there that I'm going to pull out as well in this video. But I decided I'm going to do a video of trying something interesting. So on this USB is Chrome OS Flex. Now, I've heard about it for the past, like, month or so. I've never actually tried it on a computer. I have a ton of old computers that I could easily test this on. And I have this really crappy compact computer. Now, you guys remember this from the older videos? Like, really old videos? Like, I got this back in 2015. I don't know if I actually recorded a video on it. I think I did. If I did when I first got it, I'll put that video in a, like a, in a card so you guys can watch that. But All right, I forgot to shut the door. But we're back with this computer. I'm going to try Chrome OS Flex on it. I'm also going to try it on an HP Stream because that might run it pretty well. I'm not sure the Wi-Fi is weird on that one. So I thought, I put, let's pull out this computer and try it. Now, I haven't been making a lot of videos lately because I've just had a lot going on. But hopefully I'll start making more. So this is the laptop. It's a compact Presario CQ56 AMD Windows 7 sticker. Now, I haven't booted this in I don't know how long, because sometimes I pull out computers and mess with them. So I have no idea what OS is currently on here. So we're going to find out today in this video what's on this computer. I'm actually, like, wanting... I actually have an idea, which, for this channel, is maybe I should start making videos of pulling out old computers, looking at them, seeing what's on them, seeing the specs of them and things like that. If you'd be interested in that, please leave a comment and I might consider doing that. I'm also recording with my new phone, which is the Google Pixel 6. So hopefully this is, you know, good quality. I guess we'll find out. Probably a big video file. But before I boot into Chrome OS Flex, let's first see what's on the computer because I have no idea what's on here. I actually don't know. Maybe there's something, maybe there's nothing. Ugh, that compact logo. Linux? Are you serious? Is there Linux on here? Let's see. It's booting. Apparently there's Linux on here. It looked like Debian? I wonder how old this Debian is. I might turn off the light just so we can see it better. <laughs> Crap Compact Login. <laughs> Did I literally name it Crap Compact? I don't know the login. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna be straight up. I don't know the login to this. I literally don't know. I could try my old login. Let's see if my user exists. It does. Um, there's a password that could be it. I'm gonna try it. It worked. Oh my god. I got in it, guys. <laughs> It was my normal login. Well, I changed the login at one point, but it was one of my older logins. So, I'm surprised. 2020 June 7th? Um, this is just Debian and a commands line. Like, there's nothing I don't think on here. I wonder why Debian's installed on the command line. That's kind of weird. Unless maybe I broke it or something. I don't think there's anything on here of importance because I haven't touched this computer in so long and I was probably just messing with it. But I find it funny that literally the computer's name is a crap dash compact. <laughs> okay, that's actually hilarious. But um, anyway, what we're going to do is boot this USB because what matters is trying Chrome OS Flex on something. Now I can't guarantee that this is going to work very well. Um, I got the USB in. Oh god. I think it sees it. Because it popped up something when I plugged it in. 
Okay. Reboot. I think that's the command. No, it's not. I think it's like pseudo reboot or something. Pseudo reboot. No, that's my password. I find this funny that it's. Yeah, I forgot pseudo. That's why it didn't work. I'm a little bit rusty when it comes to Linux. Oh, F9. That's a BIOS. Did I push F10 by mistake? Oh god. I'm in the BIOS right now. Uh. Boot options. What are the boot? Don't beep at me. Um. I haven't made a video in like a while, so. Well, a video like this where I'm just recording and doing something, so. My apologies. And it's also late at night and I'm tired. It's there, but the tribe is first. I could change the boot order or I could just. Here, I'm gonna turn the lights on just so I can see what I'm doing. F9. I think I pushed F10 by accident. Um, exit discarding changes. No, I don't want to boot Debian. No. Okay. I could have just did control delete, but you know. Okay, now I can turn this off. It doesn't show up. What? Uh. It doesn't show up. Okay. Give me a second, guys. Maybe I do need to change the boot order. It must be enabled for legacy. Then again, this computer. Maybe it needs UEFI. Um. Okay, so F5 and F6. I'm gonna. Go here and put that as first boot device. Save and exit. I'm gonna turn this off. If this doesn't work, I'll go grab another computer. Oh, it's working, I think. Yeah. I think. That was different from what I've seen. Oh, yep. There it goes. I've never seen it show that before. Then again, I've never used this before, but I thought I'd watch the videos on it. Well, maybe I just don't remember. I wonder how good this is gonna work. I've never tried this before. Is it gonna load? Let's see. Okay, there's a white screen. That's... There's, there's a mouse. I also have this mouse. Wow! It booted right into it. And you can also see it says the Chrome version there. Or Chrome. 101. That's interesting. I know they just released like Chrome 100 today, but like 101. Unless that's like something else. It does say welcome to Chrome OS Flex, so it doesn't say like cloud ready like it did in some of the videos I've watched. I guess they fixed that. Does it even have internet? Uh oh. Well, we don't have Wi Fi. <laughs> Maybe it'll work, I don't know. Let's just see get started. Maybe it'll show. I want to I want to install it or should we try it? Let's just install it. I, I don't care if it doesn't work. Install. Okay, we're installing Chrome OS Flex now. Make sure it's plugged in. Don't turn it off. Installation may take about 20 minutes. Your device will automatically shut down when installation is complete. Okay. Well, guys, I'm letting this install. I will come back when it's done to save the recording. 
It just finished. I just realized installation complete. It'll shut down in 26 seconds. Move the USB before turning it back on, and you can start using Chrome OS Flex. Is it actually gonna shut down? Well, this is our USB. I guess we'll find out if it actually shuts down. 11, 10. <laughs> but this is what it looks like, if you guys wanna know. Let's see if it shuts down. One second. It's shutting down, I think. Oh, I'll just turn it off myself. Okay, I just shut it off myself. Let's turn it back on. Alright guys, Chrome OS Flex. Hopefully the Wi-Fi will work. Let's find out. Not to have an adapter I can try. Here's the boot up. I wonder what other computers I should try this on. I know I'm gonna try it on the HP Stream. And see how that can run Chrome OS Flex. Just load. This computer is really not worth it to be honest. But, you know, I just wanna see how it runs. Just a white screen so far. That's a very nice screen to see. It's probably still loading. Just give it a second. Probably always does that. Do I have a cursor? Yeah, I do have a cursor. Yep, there it goes. Welcome to Chrome OS Flex. What? No. I don't want. I don't want that. Welcome to Chrome OS. If you want to no, I don't. Shut up! So, it's talking to me. Okay. What is it saying? Welcome to Chrome OS Flex. Flask. Ah, I can't speak. Fast, secure, effortless. Okay. And again, our Google Chrome thing is up there. Get started. Where's the Wi Fi? Why is there nothing here? What in the world? Let me try this Wi Fi button. I could also try Ethernet, but. Hold on, guys. I will be right back. I'm going to try something. So guys, I got my little Wi-Fi dongle. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna plug it in and see if that helps. I'm not sure if it will, but it might. It worked. Would you look at that? Our Wi-Fi showed up. So hold on, guys. The terms of service, I don't need diagnostic data. It's probably gonna make me sign in, which I don't want to do, to be honest. So let's just browse as a guest, because I don't want to sign in right now. At least not on this. Oh, there we go. Now let's try to load, like, Google. I like how you can browse as a guest, so it's like you want Someone needs to browse the internet. Yeah, it loads Google. It seems kind of laggy, but you know, it loads. And if I minimize it, this is what it looks like. And this is what this looks like, which is pretty cool. We've got a power, which turned it off. Oops, I didn't know that was gonna turn it off. I thought there was other options. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I did not mean to shut it down. That was an accident. <laughs> I, you could tell I'm not used to Chrome OS at all. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, let's try installing this on another computer, guys. So, I have another computer, which is 